Good morning, this is Paul, and today I have a Porsche 992 GT3 with the Club Sport package. And for me, I think this is one of my favourite Porsches because it has a manual, proper manual gearbox with three pedals. I'd like to show you around. Right, just wait for the camera to come to the party. Very pretty. So it's left-hand drive. Um, it originally came from Belgium, but it is a UK registered car. Um, and one of the few GT3s, modern GT3s, that you'll see with a manual gearbox. And I think if you're if you're going to have a GT3, to have the manual gearbox over the PDK, for me, would be a winner every time because it's so much more involving. And yes, you might squeeze a, a half a second or a second lap time with the PDK over the manual gearbox, but if you're driving it competitively, and that's one thing if you're just looking for something which is just ultimately incredibly good fun to drive you can't go wrong um, and with the, with the left hand drive trips across Europe occasional visit to a racetrack be absolutely perfect for this car so it's 2022 it's got 2400 miles so it's nice low, low mileage and you can see it's this lovely, really, really deep, shiny black. Now, if I just try and come in, my camera tries to focus as the sun shines off the black paintwork. The shine is incredible. It's just a really deep black. It looks really nice. You've got the signature vents in, t in front of the, the front bonnet. huge black wheels rod steel um steel brakes which are very very large very very capable for uh, four pot uh, with huge calipers of course the signature wide body of the gt3 and that beautiful rear spoiler just gives this car a real curbside appeal very spectacular. Of course, it's not as overstated as something like a Lamborghini, but it's a Porsche, it's not going to be. But for a 911, that does look good. And you can see the twin pipes coming out of the centre and the air diffuser, which actually has a purpose, helps to direct air through and underneath the car. Beautifully. What a lovely shaped thing. So, Moving to the inside, this is of course being a left hand drive, this is the passenger door. You can see you've got a nice use of Alcantara here. I've always loved Porsche stitching, lovely contrast stitching, very, very neat, very uniform. You've got the Bose sound system, the GT3 plaques, as you can see, and of course it's got the Club Sport package. So you've got, as well as standard seat belts, now these harnesses, they don't need to be here all the time. You can tuck them in behind the seats so that you have just a standard seat belt system. And these are long enough not to get in your way. But this is all designed to strap you in purely because of what this car's capable of. There's a lot of lateral support because what you have here is you've got the carbon race seats. You can see invisible carbon all the way through here. stitching with the GT3 emblems on the headrests. So lots of lateral support um, and properly strapped in. This car has the capability of introducing an awful lot of g-force. And that is fantastic. It's got a front axle lifter which you can see here. You can see you can see here if my camera would wake up. There we are. I'll come around to the other side. So front axle suspension uh, lifter is a good idea because it's not massively low, but the, but the front lip does stick a bit um, further forward than it would do with a standard car. And it helps to get over sleeping policemen, road humps, a steep drive and that sort of thing. You can see here, it's got keyless entry and that very nice Alcantara steering wheel with the 
of a decent grip, so you really can get a good grip on the steering wheel. I'm going to jump in. So mileage showing 2406. I'm going to put my foot on the clutch. <laughs> Sounds lovely. And then here we have door open. So we've got the drive mode switch here, which if I adjust and turn, you can see to put something on this car. Um, you can see the different uh, uh, modes and then you've got the button here which gives you sport and track response settings so this is the car that does work very very well on a race track and of course the navigation system here which is at the moment telling me that we need to put some fuel in which is fine but a really nice system you've got sports chrono package which actually means something with a with a gt3 because it's not just a clock, it is actually a lap timer as well. Uh, electronic handbrake here, and then you've got a, a suede armrest, which is also somewhere to put your phone, and you have your USB connections, what have you there. So again, it's a suspension lifter here, which works very, very quickly, so helps to protect the underside of the front lip spoiler. Very neat, very nice seating position, very comfortable seats. Nice suede headlining, which not only feels nice to the, to the touch, it also works very well for sand deadening. And if I point the camera backwards, you can see that there is the roll cage and the max, uh, mounting points there for the, for the seat belts, or the seat harnesses. So it gives this car a lot of rigidity. And of course it's very safe should you be unfortunate enough to be involved in an accident on or off the track. So there we go. That is the 992 GT3. I hope you like the car. I hope you like the video and find the video useful. If you'd like to know more about the car, please visit our website, www.bramshawbv.com. Pop us a text or a WhatsApp or an email or pick up the phone and give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about it. Thanks for watching.